Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men. And the topic for this video is why relationships come to an end. Why is it that your relationship has to end? We are trained to be on this planet still with the mindset that somehow you meet that person and that person is going to stay in your life for the rest of your life. They're going to be present, it's going to be solid and stable and strong. And so, why is this breakup happening? Why is this plan not being followed through with this woman coming to your life and then staying there with you forever? And there is a very simple reason for that. If you check the dynamics of coupling and, and family life, you know, years back, like two or three centuries ago, even the beginning of last century until the, the mid 50s, 1950s, 1960s, divorce was literally almost like an unheard of. The reason why this was like that is because it took really two people, two persons to stay strong within the relationship, within the family life, to build up a very strong bonding connection and stepping out of that relationship was potentially life-threatening for both of, of you, both of the, the, the partners. And so what's happening today is that the relationship lifespan is much, much shorter. The average marriage in the U.S. lasts for seven years. If you get married, you have 50% chance of getting divorced within seven years. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the relationship span is much shorter today. We are no longer talking about lifelong relationships. It still happens for some people, but what those people are discovering or learning is that they have to keep on evolving and expanding together. So here is what happens within the context of relationships. You meet this person, you couple, here is your girlfriend or wife, here is you, and you start coupling and you start exchanging energy. And then there is going to be a moment where there is some form of saturation point, where you have the feeling that things repeat themselves, where you are no longer expanding, where whatever that person has to bring in your life has somehow been completed. Everything that is happening becomes predictable. You can see what to expect. And maybe within that space, there is still lots of harmony, there is lots of passion, but there is nothing fundamentally new in the energetics of what you're creating together. And so at that point, something magical can happen is that either you or her decide to step out. You say, it's complete. I feel complete. I feel like we covered what we could cover together. And there is this other person out there with who I want to start relating because I have the feeling it's going to create an expansion for me that is, takes me further than the context of the relationship in which we have been. And that is not an insult to the couple. It's not an insult to you or to her. It is simply in the dynamics of relating, in the dynamics of having a relationship and coupling with somebody, the cycle of what you could explore together has been completed. This is why you break up. Suddenly, the context of the relationship becomes too constricting. It feels limited. It feels like the potential for growth is limited. This is why either you or your girlfriend or wife or both of you decide at one point to step out of the relationship to keep on expanding. So it doesn't have to be like that all the time. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Sometimes what's going to happen is that you bond really strong with a person and then you realize that you are agents for each other's evolution. And then you keep on moving forward together. You know, you have a certain growth potential. Maybe you want to start a new business. You want to change certain aspects of your lifestyle. Your girlfriend or partner is going to support you in that experience. He's going to say, you know what? I can see that this is within the range or within the possibilities that you want to embrace in your life. And I'm going to be fully supportive for that. And the same the other way around. So instead of blocking each other's potential, instead of limit, limiting each other's growth, what you are going to do is you are going to help each other's expansion.
And so if that happens, if it's real, if it really comes from the heart, if it's really based and grounded in your system where you go like, you know what, I want you to keep on growing. I want you to keep on expanding. I want to be an agent for your growth and your expansion. I'm here because I care. I'm not here to control you or limit that expansion. And what's going to happen there is that the space of the relationship is going to become bigger. And then you, keep, you can keep on evolving. But that's not going to happen with everybody. Okay? Sometimes that's it, the cycle is complete, and then the relationship has to be dissolved for you or her or both of you to keep on evolving. This is the idea. And so you question or you wonder why your relationship has to come to an end. Here is the answer. It's because the cycle of what you could learn or discover together has been completed. It's as simple as that. I'll see you soon for another video.